This is a call for an uprising. Welcome to today's show. I just wanted to vent for a little bit, talk about what's been going on. Obviously, all of you are aware that truther channels are dropping like dominoes. This isn't a huge surprise, but obviously, when you think about what's going on in this world right now, these people who are attacking truth their channels or attacking what they would consider to be fake news. They call us fake news because we're not allowed to question any of the, of the garbage that's force fed to us from the mainstream media. These people who are coming over here, and, and listen, I've had my fair share. You all know I already lost my main channel. And that was because a lot of Satanists follow my work and flag everything I do and try to call every word I say hate speech. So I'm extra careful with what I say. I'm extra careful how I tag my videos. I'm extra careful about the thumbnails. And now I'm seeing as well, you have to be extra careful about the images you even put in your video because this algorithm is searching for it. And when it gets manually reviewed, they don't want you talking about anything from Florida to what we saw in Las Vegas. They don't want it. But these people who are flagging these videos and flagging everybody and they think that you know this is all great and wonderful, these people are the biggest idiots on the face of the planet. Because trust me, 100%, this is going to be flipped on them at some point. Because this entire hate speech thing, this New World Order agenda, these people right now who are allowed to speak and allowed to do, their free speech is going to be gone too. By taking away ours, it leads to all free speech being taken away for all of us. And right now, those idiots who are flagging videos and calling it hate speech, they might be on the right side in their heads of defense because they're going, oh, these people are so hateful and all this stuff. Well, one day, the stuff that you guys are saying is going to be considered hate speech as well if it doesn't fall into the narrative. Now, it's likely most of these people are all New World Order puppet soldiers, people who love this idea of a soft, weakened society where nobody can criticize anyone. They can criticize us, though, right? But we can't criticize them. Well, that's going to flip on them one day. So they're doing their part in getting rid of our free speech, and these morons don't even know what they're doing. This is coming down to us versus them. That's what this is turning into. Because we're seeing our rights being stripped. People who have worked very hard to build up channels are losing their channels. But it's worse than that because they're losing their right to have an opinion. And that's what this is really about. You don't have to agree with everything I say. You don't have to watch all my videos. But you have to grant me the right to free speech because it's my God-given right. Just like people who I don't agree with their narrative are still allowed to have their right to free speech, whether it's queer kids stuff, that channel showing kids, all of this stuff about trans. I mean, they're allowed to say that, right? We're not allowed to question it because it's hate. So they're tagging and deeming everything as hate speech. And the question is, what can we do about it, right? Everybody's worn out from all this. It's tiresome. You know, it's hard enough dealing with this negative crap. It's hard enough looking at it every day. Trust me, I drive myself crazy sometimes. Despite the fact that, you know, people are like, ah, oh, he's just a hateful person. He loves to find all the bad stuff. I do it because I feel drawn to do it. I feel that, you know, that's how my personality is. It's how I've always been. And I feel like it's helped a lot of people wake up, but it's draining. Imagine doing all this stuff and having to look in all this stuff and then not even being allowed to say what you want to say. Or talk about how you feel about these certain events. Or question certain things. It gets that much more frustrating. So I have some things that I'm going to mention that I think if you're a channel out there and you're listening that you can do, okay, and I'm not guaranteeing this stuff's going to work. I know right now, since my main channel got deleted in November, I have been walking a very tight rope or tight line or whatever that term expression is. With how I'm doing my videos, I am holding back. I'm editing. When I go off on rant, sometimes I got to go back and re-edit this stuff out because I know that they can go, oh, that's hate speech, right? A word might, uh, you know, that I say, which I couldn't even give an example of right now because somebody will flag it, right? Even mentioning the kids channel, even saying that first word, they probably could flag it as hate speech. But there's some things that I think we all can do. Now, number one. I already mentioned this the other day. I have a D2 channel. I, I don't know where anybody is. 
I know you have to sign up. I know it's a process, but it's eventually where everybody's going to be. And like I said in the other video I did on it, we're counting on you, the listeners, to come over to this platform. There's a reason that a lot of people are still on YouTube because nobody will follow and go to these other platforms because everybody is you, you know, in the repetition of going on YouTube, checking out their favorite content creators. It's just a normal thing for people to do. Plus, I don't know if DTube has... Uh, you know, the capability for cell phones and stuff like that. I don't know because I don't have a smartphone, so I don't know if it would be able to load or not. But we need everybody to go over there little by little, and we can start building it out over there. And you can interact over there. You actually get, you know, and I don't know how the platform really works as far as Steam It dollars and all that stuff. I have to learn. I just haven't really had the time. But just from you interacting, commenting, thumbsing up videos, you get rewarded as well. So the platform offers, you know, that for the, the listener just as much as it offers it for the content creator. So DTube, I have a video that I put up earlier today over there. I have a bunch of videos about Parkland. There is no censorship there. If I want to say something about bagels, I can say it. I don't have to worry about it. I have to stress out over it. Obviously, I'm still going to be here on YouTube. So some of the things I just wanted to point out for people who have channels or you know, maybe you want to start one, understand that it's us versus a computer. The manual process doesn't come into play automatically, okay? It goes directly to an algorithm. So pretty much it's us versus a stupid computer. And I'll tell you right now, I'm not losing in a fight to a computer. I'm not losing in a, in a fight to a robot. Not today, not tomorrow, not any day of the week, okay? Like I said a million times, I see a robot coming down my street. I'm going to outsmart the thing. Whether people, you know, people are like, oh, you know, you can't outsmart a robot. Yeah, watch. It's just a stupid machine. It can't think like a human thinks, despite the fact that everybody, oh, artificial intelligence, it's so so much smarter. Yeah, if you put a program in it, but these things can't comment, use common sense. It doesn't even know what that is. So one of the things you have to do is when you upload the image in your video is something that they'll automatically look for. So for example, if you put some of the kids from Florida in there, it's hard to get around the bot. If you put... Uh, you know, specific, you know, celebrities and stuff. They actually will auto flag you in certain uh, instances. Another thing is the tags in the video. I try to be very clever with my tags and it's worked for me because they can't technically say, well, you know, you're spamming or something like that because I'm not spamming. Spamming would be like if I put, you know, click here, Britney Spears uh, in a hot tub or something like that. And then I had a video about Florida. You know what I'm saying? I, I just kind of have expressions as my, my title, so to speak. So if you're a channel, think of going that route. Also remember, you know, try not to leave videos up for too long that you think are controversial. You know, I learned this when my main channel got deleted. It was a video, the crisis video, the Oscars, the first one that I did. It was up for like six months at least. And it made me go through all my videos. That's what I, th once I realized that, you know, they, they were going to start doing that. I went through everything. I deleted anything that I thought could be deemed controversial. I still have some that I probably should delete, which I, we should even be at this point, right? I shouldn't even have to be saying this, you know, hate speech shouldn't be a thing. If everybody wasn't such a pansy in today's society, oh, you hurt my feelings. Oh, but then it's okay for them to hurt ours, right? It's so funny. People come over and they're like, I'm going to get your channel shut down. You effing this, you effing that. You shouldn't be allowed to say this stuff. But they can come over and threaten me and say all this stuff to me, right? I mean, the hypocrisy of it. They don't even realize how stupid they are. They're going, oh, you're so hateful towards, you know, trans or whatever. And I'm not hateful. I'm pointing out the obvious that there's some child abuse going on here with what we're seeing. And there's some lunacy going on, which is pretty obvious. But again, it, it's, right now, everything is working the way you know that they want it to work. But these idiots don't realize that they're doing the bidding of the New World Order because they're taking away our free speech. They're helping them. And then eventually, their free speech is going to be gone too. And they're going to go, how did we get here? And people like me are going to sock them in the face and go, this is how we got here. Because idiots like you were so soft and so afraid of words. I mean, give me a break. You can't even breathe on somebody anymore. It's like you look somebody in the eyes walking down the street, they declare it sexual harassment or hate speech. I mean, it's insane. So some of the things just you people could do if you have a channel, just, you know, watch how you, it's not that important to have the name of your video, like match up with the event. Like you don't need to have Florida blank, 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 you know, wink, wink. 
in the title. I know people do that because, you know, people will see it in a search or something and it might get more clicks on it. But that's how they automatically are going to get you. They don't want you talking about it at all. Even if your video is just you saying, could it be this or could it be that or take a look at this? This is interesting. They're just going to go, oh, he's suggesting by saying, take a look at this, that this might not be real. Right? So they're automatically going to review it as soon as you put the name of the event in there. And what we saw go on today, you know, is a massive purge of videos like pertaining to what happened in Las Vegas. So people got hit for videos that were from October. You know, they just went through and start, you know, or they had an army of trolls go through and flag videos, which, you know, it wouldn't surprise me either. So those are the types of things you got to be careful with. You got to be careful how you name stuff. If you think it's controversial, put it up for a short period of time, put it on DTube. Okay. Because listen, they want to make sure every channel has a strike anyway, because they don't want anybody live streaming because they don't have the capability to monitor you during live streams. They'll kill you after your live streams over. And I've seen times where channels have gotten deleted mid live stream. Sometimes it's just for playing a video or copyrighted video or something like that. But their algorithm can't keep up with a live stream, can't keep up with all the comments. So people are saying, and they want this stuff monitored 24 seven. So that's why just about every truther channel will have a strike on his channel. I mean, when one goes away, another comes like I just had mine lifted. I guarantee, you know, I'll have another one coming for something stupid talking about, you know, the, the trans show or whatever. Like somebody will just come in and say it's hate speech, even though I'm saying, you know, we need to watch out and protect these kids. So it's obviously frustrating for everyone involved. I'll leave my DTube link below. I know a lot of people are like, they're like, oh, you know, but just remember when you listen to channels like myself, if we're, if we're gone, just search for us, you know? And just, that's what it comes down to. Start fresh. You know, I had to do it with this channel and you know, I'm back to a hundred something thousand subscribers. I'm grateful for that. You know, I try not to get down on myself when I went down and I I just kind of kept plowing forward, kept putting out content, but we expect you guys, the listeners to always, you know, if you don't see from or hear from me in a couple of days or a week, and there's no videos in your subscription feed, look me up and make sure it's obviously my channel and not some troll because there are trolls who make my screen name or whatever and have stupid videos on their channel because they're pretty much just pathetic losers. But keep in mind that you'll be able to find us. Remember the channels that you like to listen to. I mean, there's so many that got deleted. I, I'd have to have a, a, a like an encyclopedia right now to go through all the channels that have been deleted in the last week, you know, especially today. But what can we do other than, you know, push forward, obviously find other platforms. Like I've said before, they're going to have to cut my tongue out. They're going to have to cut my tongue out to shut me up. Okay. And that is likely not going to happen. And even if they do, I'll still make facial expressions. So you'll know what I'm trying to say. So pretty much they're going to have to come behead me. Am I that important to them? Absolutely not. Okay. In the grand scheme of things, I'm just a spec on YouTube, just like most of the other channels. But this is a time I feel, you know, they're attacking all of us and an important expression that I always use and people should keep in mind. You know, a lot of truther channels don't like one another. Everybody knows I've got my issues with channel, you know, stupid high school stuff, but an enemy of my enemy is a friend. And right now we all have a common enemy and it's called the new world odor. Okay. That is our common enemy. And even if some of us have differences about maybe the shape of the earth or something like that, I think it's important to stand up for our right to free speech together and worry about the other things at another time because they're attacking all of us, all of us. They don't want us to have a right to speak. They don't want us to have a right to an opinion. And like I said, an enemy of my enemy, at least right now specifically is a friend. And we got to keep our eye out for what they're doing, how they're doing it, and when they're changing their algorithm. Okay, because this war, it's just begun. I'm not laying down for anybody. Okay, I'm not backing down. I'm not laying down. They think that they can come and just steamroll over channels. Go ahead. I'll build another one. I'll build another and another. I got videos backed up now. There's people who listen to my channel every day. I have a loyal following. So what are you going to do? Kick me off YouTube for good? Block my IP? Get through my VPN? Go ahead. I'll go onto a website or I'll go onto something else. I'm not stopping. There's a war going on. This is a spiritual war. This is a mind control war. This is a war on free speech. This is a war on our rights. And we all need to just grin and bear it 
endure, not let this stuff get us down, and just steamroll right back over these little turds, because that's what they are. All of them, from these, well, I wouldn't even say, but from these people we've seen come forward since Valentine's Day, these little cowards who've come forward. Puppets, like I've pointed out, D. Malay, Rainbow, Jobs. It's an intricate network, and the network is set up to attack us. And that's why we have to stand up against it, because there's no rule in this war that says we got to lay down. Until the trumpet sounds, we're still on this battlefield. As far as I'm concerned, they better get off the tracks while the train's coming through. Because I ain't going nowhere. I thank you for listening to today's show. I thank you for letting me vent. My DTube channel is below. I hope more people get over there. Out of 100,000 subscribers, I think only like 70 people went over there, which, uh, you know, what can you do? I know it's a new platform. I know it's a process to sign up. It's annoying. Trust me. But I just feel like it's the, you know, and and listen, I don't know enough about how all this stuff works with, with blockchain and everything. I just know there's no restrictions there. And to me, that's a plus. And I know that the template is the same as YouTube. So it's easy for people to make the transition because they're not going to be like, whoa, everything's so different. How do I comment? How do I like? It's the same exact thing. It's just a matter of getting in, you know, the repetition of going over there instead of going here. Right? Because this is us against them, folks. I thank you for listening to today's show. God bless all of you and your families.